Hello friends, I am Prakash Kumar. Welcome to my HTML CSS tutorial. In this video series, you will learn various properties of CSS. Uh, in this video, let us uh, know border, padding and positioning that is absolute and relative position in CSS. Here, it is a simple HTML basic page structure. Now first save this as border dot html after saving i have creating one div here div and just giving a class that is demo i am creating user defined class so let us write a style for this let's create internal style sheet we put style tag in a head section and define a demo using dot now here I have created a demo class now see let's write something here the view and run this page let's see this is what output now we will apply some style here we give a width that is 700 pixels height height let's give 300 pixels background background let's give pink and let's check the output now this is what our view now let's learn a border property first I am applying border simple 2 pixel solid black this is shorthand method to apply a border now after applying this what is the output let's check the border is applied to each and every side of this view that is at the at four directions now I, I want only border top so instead of putting this let's like write five pixel solid red you can give a different kind of border just check out the output after applying this okay at the top border become a red and it is a five pixel usually you can apply border left 10 pixel dotted green let us save this and check the output the border will be red this is the left border and it is a dotted now let us create bottom 20 pixel group let's check sorry the spacing is there Okay, this is a screw at the bottom. See, you can apply border right. Border right, 40 pixel solid black. Just check out the output. Now, in this way, you can create a new. Let us apply some padding. Padding, you can give spacing that is you can similarly apply padding top that is from this red line we want some space display the text let us apply first let's apply padding padding when we apply padding at the four direction check out the result okay 10 pixel from all the direction it is working similarly if we add padding top padding top we need 30 pixels let's check out the result after padding okay this is what 30 pixel the, uh, from the left it is 10 from right it is 10 now just add the some some more content so that 
you can check the result now see the result now here is a 5 pixels and this is a 30 pixels and this is also 5 pixels now I want this from right it should be 100 pixels padding. so padding of the padding right we want 100 pixels so let's check the output in this way the 100 pixel will be there this space increase to 100 pixels similarly you can apply right padding right padding left and it should be 60 70 pixels so already we have different 10 pixels padding now check out in this way it is become 10 this is what 10 pixels and also at the bottom there is a 10 pixel you can also add some due to this padding it will grow or it will take a 10 pixel from all the direction right left top bottom in this way we can use border and padding property and also in the my next video we will learn opacity z index then positioning if you like this video please subscribe my channel and share it if you want update click, please click on bell button thanks for watching in next video we will cover positioning that is absolute and relative position in css then z index opacity and many more properties Thanks for watching.